Yeah, hello guys. Um, this is Tijita from my phone clinic. And um, please, I want to apologize for the background noise. And you always know, um, I do apologize every, 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 every time, anytime I'm shooting a video, I do apologize. Um, because number one, my our office here is not an enclosed office. So it's just a free access whereby customers just come in and they will gain access to the technician easily. So we are the place we are is not an enclosed office. So um, right here we have um, Infinix X572. Um, well, when the customer brought it, he said the it was having uh, what is it called? Um, charging issue that means if it's charging it is not increasing it will just stay on a particular percentage so um, I told the person we can fix it so um, immediately we opened the phone we noticed the phone uh, the board was a water damage board so there is water there is corrosion as you can see as you can see we've, we've done the cleaning and see we've done the cleaning on the board so the board is is clean so there's no corrosion anymore so after the cleaning um, for me to test i noticed the backlight wasn't working so that is why i'm doing this video the reason i'm doing this video is because it took me time for me to come up with a solution because i've gone i've done research online although um, i tried those solutions that I, I was seeing online but it wasn't working so because i i came up with a solution that worked for mine so that is why i said okay let it it's a good thing for me to share this kind of video so that you guys if you're having issue like this you can quickly check the video and use it to solve your own your own problem so um actually i'll be testing the board you can see i have two board here this one is the 40 board i have the reason why i brought this one out is because of of the components that i wanted to remove but we'll go to that later now um i want to test the board so that you guys will see that it's having backlight issue so I'll, I'll be connecting the screen. Please, if you've not subscribed and you are watching this video, please subscribe, I beg you. That's the only thing you can encourage us so that we'll, we keep on posting new videos. And please, don't forget to turn on the bell button so that in, anytime we post a video, you'll we'll be able to you get a notification immediately and don't forget to like if this video helped you so um i'm turning on the phone now it has vibrates you can see i don't know whether you can see it there's infinix i don't know whether you guys can see it it has vibrated but it's not showing I want to I want you guys to see but it's not showing it's having backlight issue so um we'll be, I'll quickly explain one or two things that will help so um before I start shooting this video I've done series of things I've done series of solution so um Okay, I'm sorry, I'm trying to bring down the camera. So if you, if you notice, I've changed the IC. You can see this is the IC. This is the IC. This is the IC. I've changed the coil. I've changed the diodes. And, and I've even changed the capacitor that was there. So still, it wasn't working. So um, what I noticed is that let me quickly remove the battery so that you guys will see. So let me connect the battery for us to check the boat. So I've connected the battery without the screen. So you get. So um, I'll be I'm on the phone from here. So I want to power on the phone. The reason why I'm doing this, I want to know whether the display session is up to uh, 3.7 volts. 
the phone is on now so i'll be checking with my testimeter please let my testimeter let the testimeter to show is the testimeter showing no the testimeter i mean the testimeter now uh -huh. i want them to see the reading don't zoom so um please can you come closer the camera can you bring it closer can you bring it closer a little bit yeah i want the component to show yeah very good so i'll be placing i'll be placing my this uh, my negative flow on the diode on the side of the diode let's see can see i'm placing it on it i want to know whether there is a voltage there so my red probe will be on the ground there is no supply at all please let the testimeter to show Okay. You can see um, the diodes. The diode is bringing out zero points, zero volts. That means there is no volts there. So my backlight is not going to my bike light is not going to work. Why? Because because the voltage that's supposed to be here. From here there should be like three point seven volts, but there's no three point seven volts. It was giving me zero points. Are you getting me? Yeah, I think it's better now. So from here I put my positive or negative probe of the testimeter will be here, will be on this place. Then the other probe will be on the ground. You can pick your ground from here. This is another ground. So if it's giving you 0.0, .0 or 2 point something or 3 points and it's not up to 3.7 that means the backlight may not it you know it may either work or not but if it's giving you 0.0, .0 it will not work at all it's not going to work at all so now i'll be showing you guys i'm going to for it to work for me to send for you to have 3.7 volts this is what i did here this is what i did i'm going to use a jumper wire I'm going to solder my jumper wire here. Then the jumper wire, the connection will go to the battery, the positive side of the battery terminal, which is, you know the positive side of the battery terminal is always 3.7. You, you get so it's 3.7. So we are going to send that both to this side. Then the IC is going to regulate it to the screen. So the backlight is going to work. So I'll be trying that now. Now, so um, I'll be trying that now. So let me quickly sort. Let me quickly sort. So guys, uh, I'm done with the workings. You can see I I picked up my my 3.7 volts from V -Bat. You can see I pick it up from VBAT from VBAT so down to down to the diode down to the diode you can see down to the diode And sit down to the diode. This is the diode here. So I picked up my 3.7 from the V-Bat. You can see this is the V-Bat. So I'm going to um, arrange the, the cable very well. So I'll couple the phone now, then I'll test. So we'll be testing the we'll be testing the
say our backlight has been soft. So guys, um, you can see the workings I did. You can see the cable that I showed you the other time. This is the cable. So this is the jumper wire. You see it. So that's what I did. So you can see our backlight is working properly. So if if that section of the display I see is not the backlight I see, if it's not if it's not receiving 3.7, that is all you are going to do. You are going to take your 3.7 from the V bat. So you send it to the diode. So it's going to work properly. So guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. This is the Telecom Bike Company.